Uh, and then finally, uh, on the park maintenance facility uh, replacement initiative, we keep moving forward there. Uh, I'm in process, and basically just a signature away at this point, entering into a type of materials agreement with an architect uh, who will put together some initial schematic design uh, in cooperation with us. Uh, part of the agreement is also uh, putting together everything that is needed to submit our site plan review application so that the county can uh, issue a formal opinion on the site, on the location, on everything else that goes with it. Um, the three primary aspects of the architect services. One will be the initial schematic design, uh, preparation and submittal of the complete site plan review application. Uh, another one will be the creation of construction plans and bidding documents. Uh, and then the final piece would be construction oversight, but until we go through the initial schematic design and submittal and response to the site plan review application, uh, uh, that's first, and the other things won't happen until we get through that process. Uh, the creation of construction plans and bidding documents will also go into, uh, uh, at that point, we know we'll be able to move forward with building permit. Do you have an architect on top? I do. What's the cost of it? Um, well, this is a, uh, yeah, it's a T&M, it's time and materials agreement, you know, uh, and working, you know, kind of some backwards math with them, and while a lot of it is very hard to, it's not a, any sort of flat numbers, and none of the people were really able to go on flat numbers, we're kind of looking at an overall scope of architect services uh, estimated at this point in time somewhere around 12,000. That includes all phases. Questions or comments from the public? Ron, stand up first. Yes. Uh, I suggested to members of the board 